Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is the Coron vlog and this is me getting the tuk-tuk to the ferry port. There were sniffer dogs here, they just made you put your bags in the middle and then all the dogs just ran in and yeah, was just checking for drugs and stuff I guess. That was the waiting room, it was very busy and very hot. And then this was the boat that I got on. The seats were actually very comfy and it was a really nice view out the window. There was a little snack bar on board, as you can see at the back there. They sold like hot noodles and crisps and just all sorts of snacks, but they did sell out quite quickly. So be wary of that if you do want to get some. Here is the lovely view along the way. It was so much better than I thought it would be and the five hours did not seem like five hours so I would highly recommend this and it cost around 2,800 pesos which is around 40 pounds but it was a pretty easy journey and then when I got to the other side I got a tuk-tuk and had to sit on the side which I found quite funny that's me sticking my legs out there. So it's the next morning we've arrived well I say we I've arrived in um, Koran now I didn't actually vlog yesterday, but I will give you a tour of my hostel. I'm staying in Bam Bam Hostel. At the moment, we're just at this place called Epic Coffee. And we're just getting a coffee because we've booked a island hopping tour. It's called the, is it called the Ultimate? The Ultimate Tour. The Ultimate Tour, it's like 1,300 pesos each. And we're gonna be out all day. We get lunch and we go to quite a few different islands. So yeah, I was told yesterday there's a really good one. So. Fingers crossed, um, but follow along and you can see how it goes. We are at the first stop. What is this stop called? Kalangaman. Kalangan. Say it? Kayangan. Kayangan. <laughs> Kayangan Lake. And we're, we've got to do a little hike. It's like, I think he said like 300 steps up and down. And then we get to the lake and we can snorkel and there's like some stuff to buy food if we want to but we're probably not going to do that just going to snorkel very touristy so many boats <laughs> Hundred and sixty seven steps. Don't know if you can hear, but it's very, very loud here. I don't know what is happening down there. What the hell? What is going on? What is this? We're about to find out anyway. Maybe people are jumping in, that's why they're doing the Ooh. good on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the life jackets really work. <laughs> Now we're walking back down the other side. Oh shit, this is really not good steps. People are shouting though, <laughs> can you hear? Sounds like fun. <laughs> So we just came to the beach for some lunch. This is our lunch stop. Very nice little area. And they have like these little huts that we can sit in. And they're gonna they're gonna prepare the lunch now. And then we'll just chill. And some people are like kayaking out there. 
and yeah, it's really beautiful. Very busy though. I'm back! I'm back, baby! <laughs> oh, the water's nice there. Where did you come from, Sarah? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> We're really bad swimmers. <laughs> yeah, I love a lagoon. <laughs> So this one we're at now is the Twin Lagoon and it's quite stunning. What is it? Stunning, stunning. <laughs> wow. That's the water so clear. It is, yeah. No, it looks... Is it alright from the paint? Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna do it, Ella. Looks good. Does it? Yeah. I don't think I like it. Just wait for the end result. No, but I don't like it. I don't know if I like it. Let me see yours. Yeah, mine's worse than yours. It looks shit. Like the bee looks quite weird. It doesn't weird. look... So the last clip you would have seen is me getting a tattoo, my first tattoo. Oh my god, I can't believe I done that, like, what the hell, and it's so shit. Like, oh my god. I like the tattoo, but it's just, it's done so badly, it's really annoying because Marie's looks really good and mine just looks shit. But it is what it is, I think I'm probably going to maybe just get it neat and dark back in the UK. Um, just a f really funny night, I had the best night ever, and I realised I haven't actually shown you around the hostel, so I'll quickly show you Bam Bam, Bam Bam Hostel, where I'm staying now. I'm just in the room, so I'll quickly give you a tour here, and then I'll show you like the common area and stuff. So this is where you come in, and then you have two sinks here, you get a hairdryer, and a big mirror, which you don't normally get a hairdryer. That's the first place that's had that, so that's really good. And then this is the shower 
it's just like two doors here one for the shower and then one for the toilet and then it's an eight bed dorm i think Oh no, this one's one, two, three, four now. I basically moved rooms because the other one, the air conditioning was leaking, so they moved me into this room. Um, it's really nice, you have like curtains, and then you get a towel, there's a little storage space back there, and there's like lockers down here. So yeah, it's really, really nice in here. I actually really, really like this hostel. So I would recommend booking this if you come to Koran. I know that there's a lot of other hostels. I wanted to go to the hot one. That was where we went last night and that is really, really good. So if you come to Koran, then do book hot hostel, but you have to book in advance. Um, if you can't get a hot hostel, bam, bam, what I'm saying is really, really nice too. So today we just came to Cabo Beach. It was quite spontaneous because I woke up late, um, but I thought I'll just go to the beach because my German friends came here the other day. It is very nice actually with the settings in the background. I'm with my friend. Hello. <laughs> this is Linda. We met in my hostel um, and I was like, do you want to come to the beach with me? So we're here now and yeah, it's really nice. Nice day. So. Just gonna enjoy the scenery. Lots of cute kids too. and this one i've got it on my phone because i can't remember it um it's an island escape tour because obviously i already did the ultimate tour and this one's going to mal capua island banana island and ball log dos i mean i don't know what it's going to be like hopefully it'll be good i'm sure it will um but yeah follow along and see how it goes So we just arrived at our first stop and it's absolutely unreal. It took an hour and a half to get here, which we didn't actually expect, but it's fine. Like, it's well worth it. The view is just so nice. Um, we're at like a viewpoint at the minute um, where you can like snorkel and just like chill on the beach. And yeah, it's just like pure paradise. So I'm so happy. <laughs> to Banana Island, oh, some music, which was like literally just a two minute um, ride from the last island. And we're gonna have our lunch here. They're just gonna prepare it for us now. Um, and we can chill like on the hammocks. And there's like swings and a volleyball thing over there. Yeah, it's just paradise. Again. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
So we just arrived at our final stop, which is Malkapuya Island. I think that's how you say it, it's really difficult to say. Um, but again, just absolute paradise. Like, look at that water. Um, you can pay extra to like feed fish here, they said. But um, I already did that kind of on the ultimate tour. They fed the fish and we could snorkel with them. So I'm not gonna do that again. But um, yeah, it's just unbelievable. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. 50 pesos for a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one more, one more.